57. If gravity magically dragged the atmosphere along with the spinning ball Earth, that would mean the atmosphere near the equator would be spinning at over a thousand miles per hour. The atmosphere over the mid-latitudes would be spinning around 500 miles per hour, and gradually slower to the poles where the atmosphere would be unaffected at zero miles per hour. In reality, however, the atmosphere at every point on Earth is equally unaffected by this alleged force, as it has never been measured or calculated and proven non-existent by the ability of airplanes to fly unabated in any direction without experiencing any such atmospheric changes. 158. If gravity magically dragged the atmosphere along with the spinning ball Earth, that would mean the higher the altitude, the faster the spinning atmosphere would have to be turning around the center of rotation. In reality, however, if this were happening, then rain and fireworks would behave entirely differently as they fell down through progressively slower and slower spinning atmosphere. Hot air balloons would also be forced steadily faster eastwards as they ascended through the ever-increasing atmospheric speeds. 159. If there were progressively faster and faster spinning atmosphere the higher the altitude, that would mean it would have to abruptly end at some key altitude where the fastest layer of gravitized spinning atmosphere meets the supposed non-gravitized, non-spinning, non-atmosphere of infinite vacuum space. NASA has never even mentioned what altitude this impossible feat allegedly happens, but it is easily philosophically refuted by the simple fact that vacuums cannot exist connected to non-vacuums while maintaining the properties of a vacuum. Not to mention, the effect such a transition would have on a rocket spaceship would be disastrous. 160. It is impossible for rockets or any type of jet propulsion engines to work in the alleged non-atmosphere of vacuum space because without air or atmosphere to push against, there is nothing to propel the vehicle forwards. Instead, the rockets and shuttles would be sent spinning around their own axis uncontrollably in all directions like a gyroscope. It would be impossible to fly to the moon or go in any direction whatsoever, especially if gravity were real and constantly sucking you towards the closest density.